How's it going guys? Welcome back to Basketball Down Under and today I'm going to be teaching you how to manage school, basketball and YouTube. But before we get into the video today guys, I've got a few things I want to say. First of all, we hit 85 subscribers. That's right, 85 subscribers. Woohoo! That's just the first of many milestones to come. So guys, I do want to just say a massive thank you for all 85, I think it's actually now 86 subscribers. Um, I know it's not a lot like, you know, your massive YouTubers, but hey, I'm so grateful for every single one of you that watch these videos. You click that like button, that gives me so much inspiration and motivation to produce even more content. So thank you so much to you guys. Alright guys, well my next goal is the ton, 100 subscribers. That'd be insane if we could hit that by the 31st of October. Oh, that would just be unreal. If I hit this shot, you gotta subscribe. Hit that button. Alright, so guys, just a few formalities before we get into the video today. I just wanna say, Matthew Della Vadova, the GOAT, shout out to you, Delhi, and the Boomers were absolutely robbed in that FIBA World Cup. Like, those refs, check where they're, check where they're living, eh? Google that, Google that, as Bogut said. Uh, um, that made me mad. So yes, we were robbed and we should have had bronze, but hey, we blew a 15 point lead in the third quarter because every third quarter of our whole competition, we couldn't score a bucket. Now, we could have got away with the medal, but we didn't. Tokyo 2020, you heard it here first. Boomers USA, gold silver match. We'll see who takes that gold home then. All right, so now the reason you clicked on the video today, how to manage school, basketball, and YouTube. So let me just give you a bit of background. I'm currently in my final year of school. I'm in year 12. Uh, for those of you not in Australia, that's a senior, whatever you call it, last year of school. I've got about six, seven weeks left of school. Um, and then I'm done. I'm finished forever, which will be great. Produce some more videos for you guys. Anyway, so I just want to give you the simple answer today on how you can manage all those three things. Simple answer, you can't. So I've been doing year 12 for the last seven months with only two months left. That's the home stretch. Seven more weeks, 42 days until my first exam. It actually counts for something, but it's a bit of a pain. So how have I been managing to keep up my basketball and my study at the same time while trying to get a YouTube channel started? So the way to do that really is you're going to have to put things to the side. Study comes first, then your basketball, then your YouTube. I didn't like that at all. My parents, they were telling me, you got to put that study first. I didn't really want to, but I had to. I've been biting the bullet and I've been studying as much as I can. Which isn't as much as it should be, but as much as I can. So I've been putting that study first. If you want to know how to write a comparative essay between two texts, I'm your guy. You want to know how to calculate the derivative of a graph? I'm your guy. This is what I've been learning for the past seven months and will continue for the next two months where it becomes irrelevant after that. An absolute waste of time. So prior to my final year of school starting, I was playing basketball every day, whether it just be in the backyard or properly training, and doing gym quite a bit, to now dropping off to me doing gym like three, four times a week and playing basketball at a minimum, more like two or three days a week. See, I've also, due to all the studying and you sitting hunched over like this, I've actually hurt my shoulder. So in a way that was a, a blessing and in a way it was rubbish. As I hurt my shoulder so I couldn't play as much basketball and shooting hurt and all that stuff, but it helped me in a way because I was able to study and because I had nothing better to do. So there's two ways to look at everything. And I looked at it in a way like, yeah, I did not like it at all. But it's been a while that I had a bit of a sore shoulder because I've been all that hunching over. So that's why I ended up studying more. But hey, instead of studying, you could have just been grinding that 2K. But hey, due to the shoulder injury, I put the studying first. And for the next couple of months, I'm learning two months left. I'm just going to study and still be grinding that basketball. And yeah, the YouTube channel was a great idea for me to get like a break from study. I think the key to having a good balance between good studying and useless studying is about an hour of studying, take like a 
10 minute break and then get back into it. I'm pretty sure science has proven that studying for an hour and then taking a break is much better for you than studying for like four hours non-stop. You take those little breaks to actually remember what you're studying. So there you have it. If you want to know how to manage school, YouTube, basketball, whatever activities you do, the key idea is balance. Have an even balance of things, prioritize some things over the other, but then most of all, you got to have a bit of enjoyment. You can't study for six hours and barely breathe. you got to study for a bit, have a break. My out was basketball, and that's how I've been coping through VCA. Well, there you have it. I've lost my basketball. Went on the roof or went somewhere over there, I don't know. But I hope you learned something today. Just relax. Go through life and enjoy it and prioritize the things that need to be done, but then overall, just go with the flow. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any specific new video ideas, comment them down below. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and taking my perspective on a healthy final year of school. And I'll catch you later.